Hello, Babysitter's Club. My friends and I love the Babysitter's Club more than anything ever. If you're like us, you've been busy collecting all the Babysitter's Club books. And now, we're all collecting these amazing Babysitter's Club videos. The babysitters are always doing these really cool things, and they have so much fun. Claudia is my favorite. She's a fantastic artist. Stacy's great, too, and she wears the coolest clothes. And Dawn has the most beautiful blonde hair. I think Marianne's the nicest, a perfect best friend. And there's Mallory. She's going to be a famous writer. Jessie's an incredible dancer. And, of course, Christy. She always makes me laugh because she's so bossy. I'm not that bossy. You don't want to miss a single show as the gang takes off for fun, friendship, and of course, babysitting. One of the best is the babysitters remember when the girls remember the start of the club and their funniest sitting experiences. The mysteries are great too. In Claudia and the Mystery of the Secret Passage, the girls are just like detectives solving a really spooky mystery. And in Jesse and the Mystery of the Stolen Secret, they go undercover to figure out who's spying on the Babysitter's Club. There are so many great shows, and it's hard to pick a favorite. But by collecting all the Babysitter's Club videos, you can join in on the fun and we'll be friends forever. Maybe two or three. Aww. Oh, great. Now you smudged it. And quit rhyming. Oh, it's okay, Mel. We don't mind. A poet must practice rhyme all the time. Vanessa, enough. Do you think Jesse looks like me? Girl, oh, yeah. I, a little. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wonder, do most sisters look alike? Not Claudia and Janine. They don't look anything alike. Oh, we sure don't act alike. What gets me, Christy, is that you and Karen act so much alike, but you're only stepsisters and not blood-related at all. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you guys. I'm not that bossy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Claudia put up a flyer of the Babysitter's Club on the bulletin board. You know, parents bring their kids along to the library, and, and it'll be really good, good for, for business. business. <laughs> of course. Let's play. Yeah, yeah. Don't bang friends, them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We won't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is that the old church? I don't know, maybe. Wow, these came out great. I know, the copies turned out really well. We have a lot of pictures. Do you think the bulletin board we got is big enough? Are you kidding me? It's huge. <laughs> Where is it? I put it in the secret passage. <laughs> it was in my way, so I shoved it in there. Secret passage done. I feel like it's full of friendly goats. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Let me get it. Don, I found something back here. It's probably just insulation. No, I don't think so. It's all taped up. Maybe it's a treasure map. Do you think we really found something? I don't know. Let me see. Some really old paper. There's writing on it. <sighs> Let's go into the light. It's a letter. This is amazing. Claudia, this is spooky. This is incredible. See how old it is. It's probably been in the secret passage for a hundred years. Or even longer. Our house was built in the 1700s. I wonder how old she was when she wrote it. It looks like a kid's handwriting. I didn't lose Bettina's diamond ring. Why won't she believe me? She's so mean sometimes that I'm afraid of her. I wish with all my heart I never had a big sister. I vow never, ever to speak to her again. I wonder if they ever did. What? Speak to each other again. Maybe Bettina found her ring, so she knew it wasn't her little sister's fault. And apologized. <clears throat> Girls, hey, excuse me. I hope that's what happened. Yeah. I have this really strange feeling that these sisters always had problems. Bettina sounds really evil. In some families, feuds like that go on forever. Will you show us where you found the letter? Sure, when you all sleep over Friday night. <coughs> this meeting of the Babysitter's Club is... No! Hello, Babysitter's Club. Oh, hi, Mrs. Ramsey. You need a sitter for tomorrow afternoon? I'll get right back to you. Mrs. Ramsey needs a sitter for Becca tomorrow afternoon at 4. Claudia and Jesse are babysitting at Mal's, but Stacy and Donna Frey. I'll do it. Becca's so fun to sit for. If she's not your sister. I keep wondering what happened to these sisters. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because they died long before we were even born. Maybe they took their fight with them to their grave. Claudia's at it again. I got it. I know what we can do. What? We can have a seance in the secret passage when we all sleep over and try to talk to the ghosts of these sisters. We can ask them questions. You're serious. Christy, there are spirits all around us. Sometimes I feel like my grandmother's spirit's still with us. Is it okay with you, Marianne? Well, it's not my favorite idea, but if everybody else wants to. It'll be fun. I vote yes. In fact, I feel that there's a spirit in this very room. <laughs> Hello, Babysitter's Club. Hi, Dr. Johansson. You need a sitter for Charlotte tomorrow evening? Okay, we'll get right back to you. Stakes? Great. You know, I feel like Charlotte's my little sister. I'm so glad we found one another. Aww. We're two lonely, only children. Aww. <laughs> Come in. Janine, what are you doing here? We're in the middle of a meeting. I'm aware of your organization schedule, but on occasion your meetings run late. And today, since it is imperative for me to be at another location at 7 o'clock, I want to ensure that your meeting adjourns promptly so that our math tutoring session will convene as we previously arranged. What? 
Are you telling me to be on time? Precisely. No problem. Our tutorial session will convene in 13 minutes, then. What language does she speak? What planet does she come from? <laughs> 150, 151, 152, 153. I'm up to the pipes. I'll try. Becca, you ruined it. I was up to 154. But you hit me. You messed me up. But you... Oh, forget it. Bye, Dawn. Bye. Becca, why don't you rest a minute, and then we can start over. I'm not tired. Watch this one, backwards. <laughs> wow, that's terrific. Did Jesse teach you that? Mal taught me all my jump rope tricks. Jesse doesn't play with me. She's too busy babysitting other kids. Babysitters don't like to babysit for their own sisters and brothers. That's not true, Becca. Vegetables for Stacy and Don. Thank you. I thought you were going to get white candles for the seance. We decided red would be better. Blood red. <laughs> Thank you. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Mrs. Braddock's appointment ran over. I thought you were going to get white candles. Well, oh, they're out of white. <laughs> What's this? A bouquet of broccoli? Don's wedding bouquet. <laughs> Very funny. What's this? Claudia's earring. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Two bags? Yeah. Everybody knows that ghosts love chocolate. No way. Ghosts only eat health food, and that's why they live so long. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's get finished up. Janine's tutoring me today, and I mustn't be tardy. Why does Janine talk like that? Oh, she's practicing for her college entrance exams. I hate it. She knows I don't understand her half the time, but she does it anyway. Jesse, Becca said something to me the other day, and I thought I should tell you. What? Well, she says you don't play with her anymore, because you'd rather babysit for the other kids. Becca said that? Yeah. The Babysitter's Club assigns jobs as they come in. Becca knows that. I guess I haven't been home much lately. I haven't babysat for my house in ages, either. Yeah, me either. I better make it up to Becca. I should do something special for her. We should do something special for all the little sisters. Like what? How about we make a party for them on Sunday? It'll be really fun. And you can invite Charlotte. Perfect. All right. You don't know how hard it is to be the little sister sometimes. Think about how Bettina's little sister felt. Maybe this letter is a message from the past, telling us to pay more attention to our little sisters. You really think so? Maybe. That would be really freaky. Mm -hmm. That's so exciting. You guys, look, more sisters. This is weird. Let's get out of here. Now, if we have this equation here, factor this. Let's try it this way. If A equals B and B equals C, then A will equal C. Apply that principle to this pro... Claudia, you're not being attentive. I'm listening. I just don't understand. If it's math, why are you using letters? Well, Claudia, in algebra, the letters... I was kidding. It was a joke. Are we going to be done soon? I have to go over to Don's. We're having a seance. A seance? You're participating in a seance, and that's the reason why you can't concentrate on the principles of mathematics. Well, we found this letter, and we're going to talk to the ghosts of these sisters. They've been dead for probably a hundred years. Claudia, if they're deceased, you can't communicate with them. What kind of fantasy world do you inhabit? My world? Why do you have to criticize everything I do? I don't criticize you for loving mathematics. Maybe we should just stay in our own worlds. I capitulate. What? It means I give up. Well, maybe we shouldn't talk to each other either, because I don't understand what you're saying. Mm, you got it? Yeah. So spooky. Please tell me about it. <laughs> it's not really that spooky. Oh, come on, Chris. You're getting too You know, I wonder if Bad can get in here from the barn. Oh, Definitely. Yes. This is just the kind of place bats like to hang out in. Great. I don't know. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. 
Come on, you guys. Everybody hold hands. Okay. Hold hands. What was that? The wind. Concentrate. Bettina. <laughs> Bettina. We have to give you a message. Your sister did not lose your ring. Oh. Your sister did not lose your ring. Your sister did not lose your ring. Your sister did not lose your ring. Bettina, give us a sign that you've heard us. Did you guys hear something? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> when I was trying to hide the tape recorder. But you guys, I think it's Bettina's diamond ring. Can't be. No way! You don't believe me? She expects us to believe her. Very funny, Christy. You guys, I'm telling the truth. I promise, I crossed my heart, I did find it. This is so weird. It's like a ghost is really trying to reach us and led the non-believer to the ring. Ooh. <laughs> Janine, salutations. The seance worked. It really worked. I'll never forget last night as long as I live. The fact that the ring part was broken proves Bettina lost it herself when she was playing in the secret passage. And blamed it on her little sister. What will we do with the ring? Well, I guess it's yours. Christy found it in your house. I bet this piece of paper is over 200 years old. 200 years? Claudia, really? When do you think they invented transparent tape? This is know-it-all. Claudia, when do you think they invented transparent tape? The tape is a clue! Wow, stunning work through the years. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to come out this good. I love this picture. All those pictures are great. Where's this? That's Main Street. Hey, look at all these buildings. And old cars. This was the place where the Great Flood was. Claudia doing homework on a Saturday? What's happening to you? Listen, it says here that transparent tape was invented in 1930. Fascinating. You're doing a research paper on transparent tape? Don't you see? The note was taped to the rafters. That means she wrote it after transparent tape was invented. The sisters could still be alive. And the youngest one would be in her 70s at the oldest. I thought you didn't like math. If I could find Bettina, I could give her the ring. And we could maybe end their feud. But how do we find them? I have an idea. What? Follow me. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the lobby. Where are we going to the lobby? To get a list of the owners of a house, you need to fill out this form in triplicate. And we'll send it up to the county clerk's office, and you should get a reply in about six weeks. Six weeks? Will the records show the names of the children who lived in the house? Children's names are not on deeds and bills of sale. Thank you. Now what? No Bettina in the yearbooks from the 30s. Or the 40s. No Bettina that I could see in 52 or 53. Any luck? Nope. Maybe they went to another school. How'd you guys do? Not good. I'm running out of ideas. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Well, that was disappointing. Where else could we look? Why don't we show the ring to the people in the jewelry store? Great idea, Vanessa. Good for you. Yeah, and go to an old jewelry store and see who bought it. Like this one. Vanessa? Becca, you are brilliant. Let's go.
We sold so many of these rings in the 50s, it's not very valuable. The 50s? That's not that long ago. Do you have a list of the people who you sold them to? No. We don't keep records like that. Well, there's no way I could know who I sold that ring to. There were two girls in the family, and they lived on Burnt Hill Road. Really, girls? I have a lot of work. Please try to remember. It's really important. One of the girls' oh, names was no, Bettina. No, no, no. Just a minute. Bettina? Well, you must be thinking of Bettina Trono. The Tronos lived on Burnt Hill Road. You remember them. Did they stay in Stony Brook? Bettina married the grocer's son. I remember that because lots of people bought the wedding present from me. Which grocer? Um, Johnson. We were just there yesterday. What about the sister? Flora. Flora Trono. Boy, she's wild, that young one. Bettina and Flora. Well, they were as different as night and day. I don't know what happened to Flora. It's like she just disappeared. You asked no, you asked. Go ahead. Um, when did you buy the store from Mr. Johnson? Five years ago. Do you know where he lives? Mr. Johnson's dead. I bought it from his widow. Well, do you know where she lives? Does she still live in Stony Brook? It's very important that we find her. She was going to open a smaller store. What kind? Uh, a flower shop, I think. Did you ever meet her sister? Sister? You know, I met a lot of the family, but uh, I don't remember any sister. Thank you. We've got to find that flower shop. This is the last flower shop in the phone book. It better be it. This is getting really weird. Nobody knows what happened to Flora. And in the letter, Flora said she was afraid of Bettina. You guys, I'm scared. What if Bettina really did do something to Flora? What if we find her and she thinks we know too much? Don't tell her about the letter. Yeah, but she'll wonder how we knew. Just remember, she could be dangerous. Can I help you? Uh, are you Bettina? Yes, what can I do for you? Where's Flora? Well, Flora's gone. I'll take care of you. Ah! 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 Uh, Flora, these girls are looking for you. Rather jumpy they are. Oh, well, well. Goodness, and such okay. a lot of you. Well, it's not that heavy. <laughs> we found the ring. I live in your old house on Burnt Hill Road, and we found this in the secret passage. It's that blasted ring, oh my. Bettina, look at this. Why, that's my ring! <gasps> the one you lost! Where did you say you found it? The ring I lost, I beg your pardon, I did not lose it. You, well, don't you see the ring is broken? It must have slipped off your finger when we were playing in the secret passage. That's what I've always said. But I never lose things. But this you one, know that! You must have. I, well, whatever happened, it was a long time ago. I think we should thank these young ladies for bringing it back to us. My goodness, how did you figure out it was ours? Mine! Oh, Hi. Hi. Did you solve your mystery? Yes, thanks to you. That transparent tape thing was brilliant. It's the clue to turn the whole thing around. We found the sisters. You did? That's wonderful. Tell me what happened. Well, we trailed them to the jewelry store and then to the grocery store. It's a long story. But we did find them. So did she really not converse? Talk with her sister all this time? For about a day. They own a store together now. They're kind of like you and me. They're different, but they get along. Why are you baking cupcakes? You never bake. They're for the picnic. I have a younger sister. I wanted to do something special for her. You're coming? If you want me to. Of course I do. Can I ask you a favor? What? Will you help me decorate the cupcakes? I'd love to. Let's see. We, oh. We can make little frosting faces with red sprinkle lips, chocolate hair, and jelly bean eyes. <laughs> Candy faces. No, I would never have thought of that. They'll be beautiful and delicious. Are beautiful. 
wonderful. That's such a wonderful idea. She stayed up all night making them. Her idea was wreaths are circles, like my ring. Huh? It was such a sweet thing to do. It was such a flora thing to do. <laughs> my sister is very thoughtful. So is my sister. Roses are red, violets are blue. This is a feeding crown for a young poet like you. Everybody listen up. Come get in a circle and hold hands. Everyone hold hands. <laughs> what do we do now? Close your eyes. Claudia, not another seance. No, not another seance. A circle of love. A ring of love. A wreath of love. A circle sisters. A giant ring around the rosy. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Count.